Hi again, uh, we're going to continue talking about Phaser and building modern JavaScript apps with, uh, you know, build systems and using, you know, ES6 import and export, right? Um, and in the last video, we talked a little bit about import and export, and I'd like to go over that again really quickly in this video. So currently, our project looks like this. I can see I got my default code running, and it is kind of bouncing this logo up and down, right? And when we look at the code here, you know, we, we imported game from Phaser. So this came from a node package. And we imported game scene from our file called game scene JS. Okay. Let's imagine that, um, that we want to take the config object out of here to simplify this code. So we'll just have a file that's dedicated to holding the config object. Okay, so, uh, you know, and that would be kind of nice, right? We just have one file, we'd go to config.js and we'd see the config object and we'd be able to edit it. We wouldn't have to find it in a bunch of code. I know there isn't a lot of code here, but in the future we might add more code, right? So so if we organize our, our code very carefully, we can make our working, you know, process, you know, more efficient, right? Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take out the config object. And as soon as I, I do that, I'm, I just did cut so it's on the clipboard. And when I save, that's going to break my file here. So it's going to say can't find config, right? That's OK. We'll, we'll go get it back, right? So I'm going to make a new file in the source directory. And I'll paste the config information here and save it. And so I'll put it in the source directory. And I'll call it config dot js so now i can see config dot js here and this is defined as a var and what i want to do is i want to export that and i'm going to export it in this way with this syntax so i'm going to say export config okay and that didn't fix anything because we didn't import it yet so it's available from this file but another file will have to import it to use it OK, um, note that the syntax here is different than the syntax we used in game scene. So in game scene, I said export default and I just said game scene. In this case, we're not going to make config a default export so we can see how that works. So I'm going to say export and I'll have an object here and I'll export config inside the curly braces, right? OK, great. So now when I go to index, I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to type import and I'll use the curly braces again and say config. Now, if config was the default export, if we had exported it as the default item, then we could have used this syntax without the curly braces, right? And then I'll say import from, and I want to import from uh, config.js, right? And I don't have to put the JS on there, and you can if you like, but you're not required. I kind of leave it off, and it's just everything's a little shorter and easier to type. I'm going to get rid of that semicolon and that one too, right? Okay, great. So we've got config. Um, I still have an error though. Let's see what it is, right? So so I, it reloaded here, but the page is blank, so we have a problem. So anytime you have a problem, we want to go to inspect element and you know see what the what the error is. So I see an error message here, and if I go to the console tab, it says can't find variable game scene right in config.js on line 8. So let's go to config.js and you can see I've got everything here. You know, type is phaser auto. Hmm, I feel like we should have imported phaser here to get that. But these are just values. Game scene though comes from another file. So we have to import that the same way that we imported it over here. So and actually we're not even using game scene in index.js anymore. So I'll cut game scene out of index.js. That'll make this code a little bit shorter. And then I'll go to config. And at the top, I'll import game scene from game scene, right? So now I have game scene. It's available here. And, uh, and everything's running again, right? So let's do, let's clean up just like a little bit more and talk about a couple things and then we'll end this video. So the other thing I'd like to do just to make sure that things are working correctly, it's probably getting phaser because it ends up being a global from one of the other files. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to import it here just to make sure we have it. So I'm going to say phaser from phaser. 
right? And so now we have this here, this variable, I can see where it comes from. And then I have this variable here and I can see where I got it from. And this thing that I'm defining, I'm gonna export it, not as the default, you know, but just as a, an export. And I can export multiple items here. So if I had another item that I wanted to export, like var object equals some object, I could also export object here like this with a comma, okay? But I, I don't need to do that. But maybe in the future, you know, if I have some other things that are part of the configuration, I could export them, right? So let's talk about one more thing before we can continue, okay? Um, here, when I defined config, it was defined with var. So that was the default from the starter project. But actually, we're never going to change config. I'm just going to export it. I'm going to get the value. I'm not going to reassign or give config a new value. I might edit the properties here, but I'm not going to assign this a new object. So var is a keyword that declares a variable that has function scope and it can be changed. They, they say that's mutable. Um, I'm going to change this to const. And when we declare a variable with the keyword const, it says that it's a constant and it can't be changed. Right? You can't change it. And if you try to reassign it, you'll get an error that says, hey, you, you know, cannot reassign to a const. And that'll be maybe good for us, because if we were trying to reassign to this and our intention was not to change it, then we'd want to know about that because our program wasn't doing what we thought it would do, right? So let's change this to a const. And let's take a look at game scene, because this also happens here. So if I look at game scene, you can see that you know, I've got the class here, game scene, extend scene, and then a method called preload and another method called create. And in the create method, you can see we've declared a variable here called logo. And that's that represents the image that we see moving up and down the screen. I'm going to cover it up. It's kind of bugging me, right? <laughs> it keeps moving. Um, and what I'd like to do is instead of using a var here, we can change this to a const also, except if we, if we need to spell it right. There we go. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll change that to a const and, uh, and everything will work the same. You know, I can see it's still working here. Um, but now we know that we're not going to reassign logo a new value. Now, if you if you were planning to reassign logo or you know assign it a new value, then you know we could leave it as var, or you could make it a let. Let is the same as var, but it has um, block scope instead of function scope. In this case, there they would be almost the same. Um, but I think that we're not going to change this, so I'm going to make it a const. And actually, you'll find if you think about it carefully. Um, you'll use const more than any other variable type, okay? And along with that, using const, we also get like a performance boost, right? So consts are easier for the computer to keep track of, and it doesn't have to allocate as much memory to them, right? So it's good for us to do this. It's like a more, it's like an efficiency thing. It makes our, our programs more efficient, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that that's helping you understand import and 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 export, okay?